Chris, I guess, can you start by explaining what the guys are doing here today and what the program is? Yeah, look, we've built a, a really good relationship with Essendon uh, over the past uh, three years in the lead-up to Dreamtime at the G. Uh, behind, we've got a, a group of uh, young 50 men uh, from all over the country that uh, represent uh, the programs called uh, Rio Tinto Footy Means Business, and it's uh, very employment-based. Um, it's all about personal development, football development and employment development. So we just try to uh, uh, get the guys to achieve, uh, try to achieve highly, um, trying to get better jobs than what they're doing now or better better uh better footy clubs uh go and play a better a better higher style of football as well a higher brand of football um so we just uh, try to cover all the areas and uh there's a lot of cultural development that uh that gets presented within the within the program as well where have most of these guys come from uh, most all over Australia. Um, you know, we've, you've got guys from Gove, uh, you've got guys from uh, the Tiwi Islands, right down to Tasmania, across the Kununurra, right over to, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, Wagga, uh, Aubrey Wodonga, uh, you know, uh, Andrew McLeod, you know, is, is part of the program, coaching the, uh, the, uh, one of the teams as well. So it's just a great mix of a whole different range of uh, cultures all over Australia. It's a really special time for these guys this week leading up to Dreamtime game as well. Is, is it, This week obviously it takes place in Melbourne and there's another week as well. Yes, there's, uh, this week is the, the last end of it. So this is the close of the program. Uh, six, uh, three months ago or four months ago, sorry, a bit longer than that, uh, back in November we were based around the draft and, uh, and uh, they went through a lot of challenges around employment and this week's based around more football orientated and they get the opportunity to come here in Melbourne. They've done a lot of uh, activities. They've done high performance testing. They've had a scratch match at Punt Road Oval um, and they've had the amazing race yesterday and they've spent the day at Channel 7 today and uh, now they'll uh, get ready and get geared up and you know tomorrow they get to play on the MCG as the curtain raiser to dream time at the G. I guess as a former Indigenous player yourself at AFL level, what's this week mean? Look, it means it means a lot. Um, you know, for the first time in a long time, well, first time ever in the last couple of years that there's a welcome the country in every state at every game where it was only recognised at dream time at the G. Um, it's getting recognised in Brisbane, Brisbane, uh, NT, uh, down in Tassie. So there's a game in every state this year that there'll be a welcome to country and a, and a real focus on culture, land and spirit. And that's what the theme is this week. And, uh, you know, f f for me, uh, you know, in the, in the early stages is when this all started to come about. Um, I'm just grateful that the, the young kids that are getting drafted next year or, or drafted last year come into this uh, Dreamtime uh, week or Indigenous round with a lot of culture and a lot of understanding around uh, clubs understanding what they're doing as well. So it's come a long way and it means a lot to uh, actually get out there and actually represent your, represent your people, but uh, more importantly, just to uh, get more knowledge around it and share knowledge with people around the whole industry. Right on the program and thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. No worries.